Hey, well, hello everybody. Let's take a look at the uh, Sooner 50 watt uh, solar kit, uh, which I just got and going to review. I think this is a great alternative if it works good. If you're using uh, lithium power packs and you want something you can very easily switch to charging your 12 volt uh, deep cycle battery. So the reason it makes it easy is because they're using these SAE uh, connectors. Um, they don't seem to use these for anything higher than about 50 watts. It might just be they can't handle uh, the amount of current. I don't know. But for 50 watts, it does uh, seem like it'll work real well. And this allows you to very easily connect things together. So we get uh, the main cable that comes out of the solar panel itself, as you can see. And some of the things you get with the accessory kit. Again, this is your connection. You can connect to the deep cycle battery if you want with those connectors or you can use uh, alligator clips as you can see and you also can also they give you a waterproof uh, solar charge controller which again you're able to connect uh, between the solar panel and the battery and then there's three uh, SAE connectors coming off of that one for the solar panel that you connect to the solar panel so this would connect to this and then this you would connect to uh, one of the connectors to go to the battery. And then you also have a load one too, which uh, I never use. And they have even an additional connector that came with it where you could uh, use a different uh, solar charge controller, one where you'd wire it directly in. So you could do that as well. So that's there. And uh, one thing that's really helpful I found, especially if you want to use it for a... Uh, uh, something like a Jackery uh, lithium power pack is uh, one of these adapters is what makes it really easy because instead of connecting to the charge controller from here you would bypass the charge controller not connect it and connect it directly to uh, this uh, 12 volt uh, 12 volt outlet so we're going to take a look at that and see if that will work and see how much wattage we can get out of the solar panel itself so it's uh, getting close to 11 o'clock, so we're going to take a look and see what we can get. All right, so now we're testing this Sooner Watt 50 uh, watt panel. Um, so I just have it leaned up against a little pot so I can adjust it. So I've this is uh, early January, so it's not the uh, the greatest uh, time, but it is a fully clear day, so we're getting full sunshine on an early January day. Now, the easiest way to test this with watts is hooking it up to uh, my Jackery 240, which will show exactly how much. So I don't have this plugged into a battery. I have it plugged into a lithium power pack, but it'll tell us. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I have this hooked up um, to a... Uh, I had to reverse the polarity for these cables. So that's what this is for. So you definitely want to have one of these handy if you're using it because the polarity may be different. And then it's connected uh, to a 12 volt uh, outlet right here. So that's a short one. And then it's hooked up to the Jackery uh, power, the 12 volt power cable. Now, if you can tell from the panel, let me tilt it up. So 50 watt panel, I'm getting 42 watts of input. As you can see on the screen, 42 watts of power, which is actually the maximum uh, this Jackery will power at. So that means this is perfect for a Jackery 240. So this could even be putting out more watts than 42, but that's the maximum output that'll do. I'd be surprised if it's going much more than 42, because that would be pretty amazing for a 50 watt panel. Uh, but that just shows how efficient this panel is. So it's putting out at least 42 watts for a 50 watt panel it's about 11 o'clock so it's not even noon yet so that's pretty pretty impressive so now what i'm going to try next is i'm going to add a, a longer cable so we're going to connect a six uh, i think it's a 16 foot uh, extension cable sae extension cable to this and we'll see if there's any power loss uh, by doing that all right so i've added about a 16 foot long uh, extension cable, SAE extension cable, so you can see it's all through here. So let's see uh, if to have much difference in power there is. Excuse me, Monty. Now there's a pretty significant difference. It's down to 33 watts. So 
it lost uh see that would be a little less probably a little more than 20 percent power loss there if my numbers are being done right so it can be done if you need to stretch out the cable to get it to the sun but you do lose a significant amount of power it's a pretty long cable they give you anyway to begin with because if we uh kind of follow this see how long is this so the original cable that it connects to you now that's probably 10 feet so you get about 10 feet to begin with um, so I added another 16 feet so I'm at about 26 feet right now so 10 feet you know that's pretty long uh, to begin with but you can still use it it's just you're gonna have a power loss still very impressed okay it's about quarter to three let's see what kind of output we're getting now all right still getting 37 38 watts of output at close to three o'clock I'd say that's pretty impressive for a solar panel a 50 watt solar panel so very impressed all right so kind of let's have in conclusion here very pleased with this kit um, I got I think it was $87 off of Amazon this is uh, January of, uh, of 2020 that's way cheaper as far as first of all a solar panel to, to power a, a Jackery 240 or a uh, 160 that's by far the best deal uh, because it gets you the maximum amount of output uh, for that because those will not take anything more than 42 and they will only charge up to 38 when you're hooked in to uh, 12 volt or to uh, AC power so this went to the absolute maximum it could go so that's perfect so this is a perfect size for the uh, Jackery and you can easily switch it over and use it for 12 volt batteries uh, deep cycle batteries which I think is great and that's something you can't do with a lot of the solar panels that are out there specifically for something like a Jackery or something else. One thing I do want to make a clear, if you're getting, if you're uh, getting an SEE uh, connectors, you know, other accessories like this one, all right, for the uh, 12 volt receptacle, you do want to make sure that this came with the kit, by the way, this is a reverse, uh, it reverses the polarities because this didn't come with the kit. So it did not match up. In other words, the negative let me see in other words when you switch like these were both positive that was a positive and that was a positive or that and that was a negative and that was a negative or vice versa and that's why it wouldn't work without this being uh, plugged in so this reverses the polarity so I hook that up and that's that allowed it to work so when I didn't do that when I first tried it I hooked it in and just nothing happened. The Jackery didn't turn on, nothing, nothing happened to it. So it didn't hurt the Jackery, but it could hurt a charge controller or a battery uh, if you do that, if you're using something that didn't come with the kit and you're not sure of the polarity on the accessory. So you do want to test it, uh, the polarities. There's different ways to do that you can research, or if you have something like a Jackery, you can test it with a Jackery. It will, because if it doesn't come on, it'll tell you that uh, the polarity is wrong so just make sure you don't you're careful when you're using accessories that don't come with the kit because you could cause a problem um, if the polarities don't match but in conclusion I'm very happy with this this is a great deal I'm putting a there is a link uh, where you can check the current prices of this uh, kit uh, on the Amazon link below in the description box uh, so highly recommend this so far I mean if there's any problems I'll certainly post it but I don't foresee anything uh, everything looks to be good you know down the road I might even get a second one because I'm thinking of getting a second Jackery down the road maybe another year or so and I would get a uh, second one of these panels uh, to go along with it so it's great for camping great for emergency preparedness uh, at home for power outages uh, this will serve both both goals very well and this is actually pretty lightweight too it's not really heavy um, so very pleased with it. Now I haven't just tested the charge controller, um, but it is waterproof and that's something you don't get. Um, like if you get like a Renogy or something like that, first of all, a Renogy would be very difficult to plug into a Jackery because you have to basically monkey around with the connections to get uh, a connection the, uh, that would work 
I mean, I actually, because I have a Renogy, I have it right there on the floor there, a suitcase solar 60 watt. And you know, I spent two or three hours researching it, trying to figure out how I could plug the Jackery into it. And I still didn't figure it out. I mean, there, I found bits and pieces of information, but I still, I still didn't get it. So this is just makes it really simple and really easy. And uh, you know, I would much prefer getting, having this instead of the Renogy Suitcase Solar. It's lighter weight and easier to use. All right, so if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And uh, we'll see you later.